Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles. And today I'm going to demonstrate for you a card with the Oh Hello stamp set. Actually, there are two, so you'll want to stick around and see. The Oh Hello stamp set is from the 2013 Stampin' Up! Spring catalog, and it coordinates with the Ovals Collection Framelits dies. And when purchased together in the Oh Hello bundle, you'll save 15%. Now, if the Oh Hello stamp set and the Oval's Framelits make it into the next annual catalog, you will no longer be able to get the savings of the bundle. So you may be able to purchase this, I'm not sure, we won't know for a little while, but the, the savings of the bundles are only during the seasonal catalog period. So let's go ahead and get started with this card. I want to share with you my thought process in the creation of this card. and It all started with Bashful Blue. I looked at the colors that are retiring as at the end of the 2012-2013 Stampin' Up! catalog, and Bashful Blue is one of them. So I thought, okay, let's create something with that, and let's see what my color coach has to say. And so I went to Bashful Blue, and then turned it over to see what color combinations they put together. They always put two together. And immediately I liked the Bashful Blue chocolate chip and certainly celery combination. Isn't that attractive? And with the flower from the Oh Hello stamp set, I thought, oh, that'll look vintage. This is going to be great. So I have some Whisper White cardstock here, my Certainly Celery Classic Stampin' Pad, and this oval from the Oh Hello. I love this. I have to tell you, when I was looking at it in the in the spring catalog, I wasn't so sure, but then I thought, you know, that would be pretty stamped in a light color for a background. So we have that. Isn't that attractive? Mm -hmm. And so then we want to take the other coordinating color. This will stand out very nicely against it, the Chocolate Chip Classic Stampin' Pad. And because this will be a thank you card, I'm using the thanks so much from there. And then we'll just center that in here. You know what, we could go ahead and just do that, but if we want to be absolutely sure, we have the stamp of a jig And I've stamped it well, in chocolate chip. And this is my imaging sheet. Bring my handle, and so I'm centering it where I want it. Let's just not even bother with the guessing. <laughs> okay, and so ink this up, bring the block into that corner, and stamp and it can't help but go where I want it. Isn't that fabulous? Just love that. And so here is the oval that coordinates with this. And I have a little bit of painter's tape on there that's going to hold it in place as I run it through my Sizzix Big Shot die cutting machine. And we'll get a die cut. Get that all die cut perfectly. So here we are. I've run it through the Big Shot and look it just die cuts that oh so perfectly. You've got to love that. And so let's do the next step, and that is with the stamp of a jig too. And I have some certainly celery cardstock. This is one of the colors that will be retiring as well. And I wanted to use the stamp from that set. These really cool uh, arrows, <laughs> and uh, and I'm going to need my stamp of a jig because I'm going to do so, uh, certainly celery tone on tone. I love tone on tone, and I was having a hard time seeing it in certainly celery on the imaging sheet. So I stamped it first with, uh, because it was available, the chocolate chip. So again, bring back my handle and ink this up. And then, yay. Okay, and so I was trying to do a gap in between, and I wasn't liking the look. So what we're going to do is, with the imaging sheet, how easy is this, we are going to line up right next to it. Bring back the, the handle, remove the imaging sheet, and stamp and see isn't that great so I started in the center and then we'll move out and then and then complete that design so here's the first version of the card that I did went ahead and layered this die cut that we just did on the next oval up the ovals collection in the chocolate chip and that just coordinates so pretty and then I have the chocolate chip down here for a little finished look and then I hand cut my flower from the same stamp set colored it with the Bashful Blue and certainly Celery markers on the Whisper White and cut that out. And this is just a perfectly fine card. And so, but then you just keep playing around and look what happens. Let me remove the flower, get out my Subtles Designer Brads, certainly Celery is one of the colors, and I'm putting that right here. Isn't that fantastic? A masculine looking card without the flower on there. 
but it gets better. Well, this version's fine, but I like the card that I end up coming up with after this. And so, of course, you know, I like the little something-something coordinating inside. And when I saw that stamp just on the white like that, I thought, that is gorgeous. That blue flower with the certainly celery stems. And so I went to bed with this card designed, and then I just had to play around some more. So let me show you. So not able to get how pretty the, this flower is, stamped with the Bashful Blue and certainly Celery, I decided to create my own background paper. And so I have my Bashful Blue Stampin' Right marker, and I'm coloring the blossom part of the flower with it, and then the certainly Celery Stampin' Right marker, the stem and leaves. And this ink dries very quickly, so while I was still coloring and talking, it was drying, so we're going to huff it put the moisture back in, and then stamp this in another direction. We're trying to keep that look also oh random. And so I'll finish that, and let me show you the finished card. Isn't this just so feminine? I just love it. What a contrast to the other card. Let me show you the other card. Here we go. And so I remove the chocolate chip, and then put the flower back in. And then added here the certainly celery 3 8 inch taffeta ribbon for a very feminine card. I am just loving this. And of course inside we still have our stamp flower and that will be on my envelope. And so um, with this card I already told you that the Oh Hello bundle is from the 2013 Stampin' Up! Spring catalog. But also certainly celery and bashful blue are two of the ten retiring Stampin' Up! core colors. And they're retiring at the end of this catalog period. And they will be only while supplies last. Stampin' Up! has made this announcement. They're going. And so what I'm seeing is, in, in the past, the first things I expect to sell out will be the ink refills. Because if people own the stamp pad, they're going to want to be able to keep it juicy for a long time. So the ink refills. And then if you own those, you definitely want cardstock to be able to stamp with it. And we're going to then see accessories like the Subtle's buttons with the celery and pretty in pink uh, buttons in here. We'll start And the ribbon, we'll start seeing accessories and then, of course, the stamp pads. So all of that are while supplies last in my online store. So if you are loving these colors as much as I am, boy, I just love this color combination, you'll need to go to my online store and grab them before they get gone. And if you want to make it even better, if you're watching this and it's still April 7th or April 8th, 2013, you're going to get free shipping. No minimum, no coupon codes. You just go to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com, and order anything and everything your little heart desires and get free shipping. April 7th and April 8th, that's two days left, uh, 2013, to get that free shipping on anything and everything, even hostess orders. You order enough to get free stamping products, you're still going to get free shipping. <laughs> it is just a great day. So uh, go to my online store now and grab up all the retiring color products that you want before they're gone. Check out the clearance rack and, of course, anything from the spring catalog and the big catalog. <laughs> I'm Shelley Godby teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.